Our first guests today are from the Children's Grief Center. We have founder and executive director Camille Jerez-Nitschke and program and marketing coordinator Hillary Baldwin. Welcome to our show, ladies. Thank Good. you. Thanks for having us. Great to see you again. Um, please tell us, Camille, where exactly is the Children's Grief Center located and what's it all about? Well, Linda, our mission for the Children's Grief Center is that we create a healing environment for children, teens, and their families who are grieving a death. And we do that through peer support. Mm -hmm. We have two different sites for our locations where we have group. One is at Messiah Lutheran and one is at Salvation Army Headquarters. We have an office where we do our administration work on James Savage Road. We serve kids from the ages 5 to 18 and they come throughout the school year. So they come from September to May, twice a month. Um, like uh, Salvation Army is on Tuesday nights, the second and fourth Tuesday, and Messiah is on Monday nights, the first and third Monday. And we also hold an adult group at the same time for whoever is bringing the child or the teen to group. They also have a place to go and have peer support. And peer support is really unique because it's not counseling or therapy. So this is actually a nice adjunct therapy or you know um, addition to somebody who's actually still doing therapy one-on-one. -on -one. This is something that they can do besides that as well. I see. So what exactly is the mission of the organization? So it's that we create a healing environment for children, teens, and their families. So okay. we um, help children specifically to having someone close to you that has died. Mm -hmm. And the children actually connect with each other. And so they create a space where there's connection and there's the um, knowing that the other kids know how you feel. Mm -hmm. And they don't get this anywhere else. It's really unique um, to this model. We were trained by the Dougie Center out in Oregon and um, the kids love coming to group everybody goes oh the children's grief and they think mm -hmm. sad but the kids they have a place to share their feelings mm -hmm. but then they we've learned that children do their work they do their grief through playing and through expression and we use art and storytelling and mm -hmm. um, it's just a great space for them to be able to have that place of connection mm, that's great um, what about now you're growing aren't you uh, what area are you serving now and you're growing though where are you expanding into we are this is actually our fourth year. Our first year we had one group. The la next two years we had two different sites. And this year we're growing into Saginaw in October. And we're really excited about that. We'll be at the Children's, um, in Michigan Children's Museum. Um, we actually have um, over 100 kids that have been served and have come to group. And we have kids that have come since the very beginning in 2014 and oh, wow. continuously been coming. We have others that have come for a little while and then have stopped. And so it's really, uh, it's kind of unique in the sense too that it's, specifically to each child's needs. So with mm -hmm. grief, we found out too, everybody gr grieves uniquely mm -hmm. and they do it in their own way. So we just support them in however they need to do that. Oh, that's great. Sounds like a really worthy service that that kids need. Mm -hmm. So now what do the kids, um, where do they come from? Um, uh, how do you get how do they contact you? How do you find out about them? Right, so sometimes it's word of mouth because we are getting to be more well known, but um, lots of times we get referrals from counseling agencies, hospice, hospitals, churches, um, schools. We're doing a great program with the schools this year um, through the um, generosity of the Big Give. We are creating, they're called Good Grief Bags. Oh. And so every school in the um, district will get one or two bags, depending on the size of the school, that will have um, our materials in them. And then they'll also have books that are appropriate for that age in the mm -hmm. school to help support kids in their grief. Oh, good, good. Um, what are the current, now you must use a lot of different volunteers, I know because I volunteer for you. <laughs> so, quite well too. And it is a very worthy and it's a lot of fun. It's, uh, I was very surprised. I thought it might be a sad thing and it might be tough and difficult, but it isn't. The kids are just there to, well, you know, be comforted a little bit, but mostly it's they're, they're there to interact with others and, that, like you said, have compassion and, and know where they're coming from. Mm -hmm. So um, how many volunteers do you have and do you need more? We always need more volunteers. Mm -hmm. um, we've had over 45 volunteers come over the last three, four years. We have specific trainings um, throughout the year. Hillary can tell oh, you a little good. bit more about that. Okay. Um, but we also, um, so we need group facilitators. And so it's also the training that they do is very thorough. So mm -hmm. lots of times people are like, well, I don't know what I would say. And, you know, I'd be afraid I'd cry. But, you know, we really prepare you well for mm -hmm. um, being a facilitator. And it's one of those things that you come thinking you're going to help the kids and mm -hmm. you walk away 
feeling comforted and feeling better than yeah, ever. And so true. it's got a ripple effect with mm -hmm, that too. Mm -hmm. Well, Hillary, tell us about the volunteer training coming up this in the next couple of months. Yeah. What you got? Well, we have two um, different trainings. One of them is in July. It's the 12th, the 19th, and the 26th. Mm -hmm. um, those are Wednesday nights, and that uh, runs 5.30 to 9.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. And that will be held at our um, location where we, we handle the administrative work on James Savage Boulevard. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, we're gonna have one more training too in September on the 16th and 17th which is over a weekend mm -hmm. so it'll be kind of a longer day on on Saturday 9 to 6 and then on Sunday it's uh, 1 to 5 and that's being held at the can council in Saginaw mm -hmm. those are the trainings that we have coming up and oh, good. yeah so we've got information posted on both our website and Facebook as well okay okay great now you've got some special events coming up in September and October too um, briefly tell us about these save the event save the date events yeah well we do we have a we have a few things coming up mm -hmm. quite a few things um, okay. we're gonna be at the Midland County Fair the week of thir uh, August 13th through the 19th mm -hmm. so we'll be set up we'll have a presence there um, I think we'll have a couple of kind of fun unique activities and games for the kids and families and a lot of information um, you know just about what we do who we are mm -hmm. um, and in Camille says this all the time we hope that you don't need us but if you do we're here yeah you know a resource for the community so mm -hmm. again it's just kind of about getting the word out so we'll be at the fair um, we also have our picnic it's gonna be the fourth annual since this is we're going into our fourth year uh -huh. and that's held on um, August 24th mm -hmm. from 4 to 7 p.m. that's at the Plymouth Park Pavilion and it's mm -hmm. open to the public okay. lots of fun we're gonna be grilling out uh, lots of you know balls and activities mm -hmm. giant uh, twister oh giant oh, yeah. twister is fun. so much fun I made I made uh, myself look pretty silly last year doing it but it was <laughs> a lot of fun and my kids loved it so um, so we have have those events coming up we do have um, the lunch and I don't know Camille if you want to speak to that mm -hmm. Just quickly, we, um, we're we holding our uh, second annual Hearts of Hope luncheon in Saginaw. Okay. Um, and we're doing the training. And then also Donna Sherman from the Dougie Center is coming okay. in October, and she's going to do a train the trainer. So anybody that's Agreed. really interested in learning our volunteer training and getting involved with us, they would really want to be on board with that. It's going to be great. Oh, um, they just need to contact the... Um Right. They Children's need, Grief Center, yeah. and how would they go about doing They need doing to call, that? either call the okay. um, number or um, contact us through email, and they want to register before that, because basically it's it's not really like our regular groups. Those are longer, and those are on-site with different activities, mm. but okay. it's actually July 19th, and yeah. it's oh, also, um, it's a way for, you know, for somebody, like when they call me now, I'm like, well, we at least have something so they don't have to wait till September right. and so we right. had one in June and we had two new families yeah. and right away they got a sense of feeling mm -hmm. connected and mm -hmm. so some of our regular kids they look so forward to it because they like yeah. staying connected throughout the summer well, that's so it's great. just a way to kind of bridge the summer because it's a long time to go without group right? yeah mm -hmm. yeah it is it really is well it sounds like the grief uh, Children's Grief Center has got quite busy fulfilling their mission and we really appreciate both of you joining us mm -hmm.